add some spider webs plus electricity. And this guy should puke out. I'll just some stuff. pour the finished potion into one of these vials. Mm hmm. Blech. Like so. Fortunately, they're small enough to carry in my pocket. Let's hope you have some stoppers. Alright. Uh, so, what this is, is an invisibility potion. It's a vial containing a magical essence that, with luck, will make me invisible. Okay. So, what we get to do now is go back down to that mirror thing. How oh, cool. Thanks, Roper. This will be so much easier. Okay. Now. April, drink this. God. I'm invisible. That's so cool. I'm kind of blue tinted for some reason. She didn't see me. Ha ha. Solid again. Good timing. I've got to hold on to this stuff. If nothing else, it's perfect for sneaking into clubs back home. You do that a lot? No. I'm boring. Okay. So, what we picked up was the rest of this from memory. I look like a serving maid. That's nice, dear. Haha! -ha! Fly wings with clouds makes leaf. Light as a leaf. Makes you light as a leaf, probably. Perfect. All right. And clouds with brimstone makes storm. Storm? I can bring the wind back with this potion. Yep. Brimstone with brimstone makes big bang. Ooh, like a firecracker. I always wanted a firecracker. Ooh. Spiders webs and butterfly wings makes. What is that? A chain around a chaotic symbol. Chaotic like. Magic? Chain mm -hmm. magic? Bind magic! Bind magic. Okay, let's make some other potions. Okay, so. What we need to make would be, uh, we need yellow, because we're making ourselves light as a feather. Yellow! I don't need the sound effect. Thank you, guys. Um, yellow. White. Blue. On blue. On play. And blue. Now this guy's gonna vomit up again. <laughs> Come on. I'll just pour the fi Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny how it's the same color as the other one, but. Okay. Light as a leaf. So, I'm gonna come over here. Oh, you were over there. Drink. I'll just take a tiny little sip. Yes, because we need this red. Red. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, bitter. I do feel a little less weighty. If I put my mind to it, I could probably jump quite high. Yes, go for it. That's more than quite high, April. That's like super high. Whoa! I should save some of this stuff for the Olympic Games next year. It's a safe bet. I dominate the high jump and pole vault contests. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to the cauldron. Now that we have red essence, we can make the other potions. So, what we need to do is oops, mix white. And then we need to get some red. White, red, and blue, the American colors. And the French colors, and yeah, they get around those colors. Alright, and that gives us another volunteer. I'll just in our pour potion. the finished potion <laughs> into one of these vials. 
they, they're all coming out the same colour. That's kind of disappointing, if you ask me. Okay, next one is red. Come on, come on, red. Red! Red! Blue. Suddenly I feel like I'm playing Brain Age. Red! Blue! Yellow! Black! Uh, I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. Yeah. Charming. All right, last potion. We need green. Green. And then yellow. Yellow. And blue. Hurry up, guys. All right. I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, what we will now to do is it's to a crystal ball. Free the crystal, obviously. So we need the bind potion. Yes, that one. So bind the crystal. And then, now that it's binded, we want to big bang it. Big bang! Oh, yeah, yeah. And now all the dudes will wake up. Oh my god, the hand! What has he got me wearing? Oh, hey. Ooh. Oh my god. Here I was thinking I was a man. Alright, awesome. So, uh, the next part that we need to do is uh, open the window. And, uh, let's call our little buddy. Uh, oh, funny freezing. There we go. Okay, well. What's going on? Nice digs you found here, though I'd cut down on the mad alchemist decor just a little. It's just not you. Oh, well. I don't plan on sticking around, Crow. Yes. Heck, why not? You'll be mobile. Home security is not an issue, and you can strike fear into the hearts of men. <laughs> Just what well, I always I wanted. Like that. No. No. Hey, up to you. So, why'd you call me? Well, I have a wonderful potion for you I to... could use some help. Yeah. I'll try my best. Just let me know what you want me to do. Sweet. Okay. I want you to carry a wind potion. Hold on to this vial, okay? Oh, sure. Holding on to stuff is a specialty of mine. What for? I'll it let you know. Yeah, you'll find out as soon as you get out there. <laughs> out the Why window. You fly out there, Crow, as high as you can and empty the potion into the clouds. Oh, what Thank if there's you. lightning? I don't like lightning. Lightning has caused better birds than me to crash and burn. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'm the ever faithful crow. That you are. Uh oh. I guess it's working. Yeah, I, I guess it is. That's done with. There's still quite a bit left in the bottle in case you need it later on. Hmm. That I will. Thank you, Crow. Okay. So, the tower should be blowing back to Mercuria. Yeah, there it is. Uh oh, colliding with guy with horn. Oh, uh, 
Holy crap! I'm only wearing my underpants! Oh my god, my ankles. When did you crash land, April? Oh, you've got crew on you. <coughs> oh, you've got crew on you. Okay. To the docks. You went to the big boat. Hey. Oh. Hi, Mr. Blue. Captain Nebeve? Huh? Oh, it's just you. Where have you been? Freeing the Where winds? Where have I... Don't you remember? I went north to find Roper Clax and get him to release the wind. Oh. I. You know, the wind did pick up mysteriously last night, but... Uh, mm hmm But what? I don't trust it to not die down in a few hours. Or at the most, a day or two. Well... But I destroyed the alchemist. I even set his prisoners free from the rock they were trapped in. Destroyed the soul stone. Sailed back here in his floating castle and... And you don't believe a word of it, do you? Nope. Not a word. No. Great. Well, I did defeat Roper Clax. I did defeat Roper Clax. Roper Clax. Uh -huh. Roper Clax. Do you have his severed head somewhere on you? No. I beat him. I didn't say I killed him. <laughs> yeah, of the calculator did that. Okay. Can we set sail for Elias now? Well, the wind has picked up a bit, but I don't trust the good weather to last. No. Oh. I don't want to be sitting dead in the water come tomorrow afternoon, so I'll wait a few days more. Thanks for nothing. Yeah. But hey, I have something for you. Where's my wind push? That's down here. Pick it up. Mr. Debevay. Captain Debevay? Huh? I got something you want. Hmm. What? Well, out with it, girl. What is it? How about... Oh, nothing. You do remember our deal, don't you? Yeah. I. Um, uh, remind me what the deal was again. Well... That if I defeated Roper Clax and brought the wind back, you'd give me a lift to the Isle of Elias. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the day I see a girl like you bring down a powerful alchemist like Clax is the day I hire a woman to be my navigator. Whoa! Well, look at this. Oh, Ooh. hey, Kirk. <sighs> By the balance, girl. That's a strong grog you got there. Oh, God, didn't... What is did it? you drink that? Tyron Spice Wine? It's the wind. Watch this. Uh-oh, Kerr. Not, not the best place to be... Sweet jaw, that's a strong wind. You got some mighty powerful magic there, girl. And there's more where that came from. Mm-hmm. Care to share some of it with us? With that magic, we could make good time to Guillen. Pick up a cargo full of apples and be back here before the competition got, uh, wind of what was happening. Ha <laughs> ha Sure. If you give me a ride to Elias, as promised. Mm. Balance be cursed. Women aboard? When will it ever end? Jowls, bowels. Be here by this afternoon, or we'll sail without you. <gasps> As if you'll get far without my wind magic. And you did say something about hiring a female navigator? Yeah, I happen to know one. Damnation! Do you insist on remembering every little thing I say, girl? Hmm? Don't you know that Jal has forbidden women from riding the waves? <clears throat> Sounds like a bunch of sexist bullshit to me. What's <laughs> well, your choice? I got the wind in my pocket. Now you learn to treat women with a little respect. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've run out of curses, girl. Jal be damned I am in desperate need of a navigator anyhow. All right, all right. You be here by this afternoon with your navigator. It's not as if I ever put much faith in the teachings of the drunken prophet Jal myself. Oh, he's drunk, was he? Man, you can't trust anything that man says. Okay. April, to the city. To the cellar, to the city. All right, we'll cut the episode here, and we'll be back next time with more Longest Journey. Oh, yeah. See you guys later. Bye-bye.